well, the Steve rather, uh, going up against BMM and Goblin. So this is a bit of an interesting matchup. Um, these are both kind of characters, really big resource management. They occupy very similar space sometimes. Um, as Steve, you really got to watch out for those arc fires from across the stage because they can catch you setting up blocks and setting up into the corner. And once you corner yourself against Robin, I mean, that is just trouble inbound. Yeah, this is actually the first time we've gotten to cast uh, Jake Steve, you know. Here we go. It would not be a get clipped without a Steve in a uh, deep, deep bracket. Yeah, I feel I feel like it's happened every single week. Since every Steve single came time, out. literally. I'm pretty Send sure. Send Jake, somebody else. Oh my, that was untackable. There we go. And yeah, I think that... Jake. Now that people have seen Jake offline, I feel like he's been solidified definitely as a as a big threat in terms of top level play. He he at Infinity Con he did a mass amount of work at locals. He's also been dominating really really nicely, uh, repping CFL really really well. Um, and I just, I'm curious to see how BMM is just going to deal with this. De opting for uh, Robin, which will allow him to definitely have a better time keeping Jake at a mid-range and not uh, obsessing over how to close the distance because Pichu has to be a little too precise maybe for Steve. So I think that's the that's the play here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, but again, is Jake going to be able to find this edge guard? Ooh. Not really sure about that. I've smashed. Maybe they're anticipating Jake that. Jake smash. <laughs> Maybe he was anticipating that he was on the other side of BMM. <laughs> <laughs> it works, though. The thing about it is that it works. Like, it doesn't have a lot of end lag to it. It's really solid. It's hella strong. If he's strong. not getting punished, if he's not getting punished, then, it's working. then you know, it's what's a safe the matter? Move. The move is safe if it, isn't, if it can't be punished. If button safe, you can press wow. button. That was Oh, sick. wow. Still going to be able to mine some resources. That was so smart. That was really cool. When, when somebody gets their shield broken, you just have that window of opportunity. You can take a second, you can just chill a little bit. You're like, hey, I'm going to get some resources while I have the time, and then I'll get this kill. <laughs> Bouncing off his own block. <laughs> Still, though, Jake just has it down to a science at this point, just getting this fat damage off on BMM. Not stressing too much about recovery either. Steve has all that in spades, given how Minecart gives you an extra jump. You got the Elytra, which you can also play around with for safe recovery. BMM finally going to be nailing that. That's first an active off. TNT on the platform. What's the play here? Jake just says, "Hey, you know what? I'm going to completely disregard this. <laughs> that that is that is a tool for a later date." El Thunder going to be going so far, catching Jake in the corner and catching Jake in the startup of minecart. That's really the key to a lot of this matchup. It's hey, can I catch uh, them in the mining animation, and can I catch them trying to get back onto center stage using side B? And Jake just, you know, stocking up on these mats, got a diamond lined up, got a ton of iron, so there's no shortage of recovery tools for, for Jake to use at all. Meanwhile, Arc Fire looks like it's been juiced out of its resources right here, so BMM's gonna find have to have to find some other way to close the distance or just catch Jake on the back foot here. Oh, same setup. Oh, there it is. Oh. Tries to go for the up till TNT and is gonna be I've able to find it. I've never seen that before. That was you haven't crazy. seen up tilt TNT I've on a platform? Seen, I've oh. never seen a Steve up tilt TNT right now. Granted, I haven't been watching too much off online smashes lately, which is where the Steves tend to congregate most of the time. I mean, uh, but that was this, really cool. This is where the replay tool comes in super Boom. clutch. Look at how uh, high up that that hits too. Look at how high up BMM was when he got clipped by that. He was yeah. he was like top platform height. So literally. I'm Steve. I'm in this position. I am standing at low distance. Get up attack. You're Alex. That's gonna cover. Yes, I'm Alex. Come on. <laughs> I get gotta together, go with the program. I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm an awful caster. Get, get up attack is not really relevant. Also, get up attack, even online, extremely reactable. I'm at a distance as Steve, where I can cover a goal in and a neutral get up with a grab or literally just by up tilting a TNT. Look, look, there's no risk in, in on Jake's behalf. He was so high. Oh my god, that hitbox is yep. huge. It's massive. That's crazy. I don't think BMM saw that coming, but either way, game one going to Jake handily. And I feel like BMM just has to find a quicker way of keeping Jake. You know, Jake doesn't mind playing back. He doesn't mind having more time to, to get these resources. He's just chilling. Up oh, here we go. We're going for a little ride. <laughs> Steve is such a goofy character, I swear to God. This is one of the nuttiest additions to Smash. Yeah, ever. he's just got a lot of funny things happening all the time. He's funny. Uh, he's different. He's unique. He's a little bit quirky. Oh, for real. Uh, 
He's not. He's not like the other characters. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, oh, Alex. Wow. We keep we Alex. keep saying Steve, but this is Alex doing all this work right now. Yeah, Jake and I just playing so patiently, just like playing back a little bit, just really covering. We just really just taking the time to get resources, just to be able to get everything on deck. Um, and honestly, the oh my. You've got to be kidding me. That <laughs> Just whip out the schmeat real quick on the TNT right there. And in this game, you can cancel out of taunts with a cap. <laughs> with attack. So, I mean, why not? There's just a lot happening this game. This, this game's a little bit intense, man. Um, oh, wow, what a scoop. What was the horizontal reach on up smash? It covered from a distance. That was OD. Wow. All right, though, back at it again. You know, Jake's ledge trapping has been immaculate this time, just having all this time in the world to setting up TV. Hitting with the same <gasps> setup, trying to assist, Ooh. trying to use that to repel him. Jake but is that insane. Was, the block down smash was so smart because Jake was able to cancel a lot of his own landing lag in that position. BMM still going to be able to clean that one up, but that TNT, that's a little bit interesting. And I want to talk about it a little bit later uh, because there's definitely some stuff to pick out with it. But... Wow, Jake, whole stock up, got a lot of momentum behind them, just taking the sweet old time as BMM is going to be the ones who constantly approach. Yeah, these arc fires just aren't working. Jake has just been, you know, going back, not even dash backing, just moving slowly back and just keeping the mining going. He, he knows there's no imminent threat to him as BMM is just trying to out zone him most of the time. And it has been working when he's been able to catch Jake on the back, back foot, but I, I don't know about neutral. I don't know if you want to let Jake get more and more resources because it's those comeback mechanics that Alex has that make make her so scary to deal with. Ooh. Yeah, BMM, they're not really recognizing Jake's uh, get out of jail free option there, which is usually side B from the corner. Um, that's usually what gets you back to center stage pretty consistently. Um, spot dodge up till that's gonna be a big punish. Already 65% onto the board and stage control, and that's all that matters. All right, though, that back air not gonna be doing it just yet. I like the L Thunder shot just to keep Jake honest. But Jake um, is just gonna make it back to center stage, no problem. Yeah, BMM was just not ready to cover the high recovery. Um, BMM needs to be able to clean this stock up or else it's just gonna go into that realm of this is Jake's game to take. Oh, yeah. Uh, We're just waiting right here, you know, Jake. No, doesn't even matter though. Catching the jump from ledge right there excellently with that, uh, that down smash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Jake just seems to have such confident command of this matchup. Like, he's not stressing so hard when the zoning tools come out. He's not stressing hard when BMM decides to close up space. BMM has been getting these hits to take these stocks off. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to ledge play and just managing neutral, Jake has just been outclassing BMM every single time. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Devin was wondering, can we get a... Okay, first of all, that up smash hitbox, not okay at all. But I, I want to get, get a look at, uh, at this TNT right here. So, typically, after this TNT, what you can do as Alex or as Steve, you can air dodge. Right, you can air dodge, and you won't be taking any of the ex damage from the explosion itself. But what Jake did in that position, uh, I believe, I would like to think that it was they intentionally did it and put the air dodge so that they could uh, position themselves in such a way that they could follow up from the hit and then try to get a kill uh, on BMM, which they ended up doing with a block down smash. So if that was intentional on Jake's behalf, that was pretty cool. If it wasn't, good adaptation and good game sense. Jake just trying to get this startup combo, but now BMM not stressing too hard. You know, now now that we're at a neutral start once again, you can really just hold your lead as much as you want. You know, charge up your good tools. And uh, now that Jake is ready to go, he's got the diamond tools and gold out. He's ready. He's ready to go. He's ready to just press the advantage now that he's all mined oh my. up. And, uh oh, oh. GG's. Ooh, yeah. BMM spazzing out in terms of connection right now. We got That's 100 flags. That's a like full DC, yeah. No. So is that it? Uh, uh, is that already. the set? Is that how that goes? Already, my little pog champs. It does seem from our ends. Back is, that, to, is that how it goes? It, it, it do be that way. It seems like BMM's connection uh, might have been the antithesis of pog champ. Uh, does seem like something happened to the internet. What I I wouldn't be able to tell you at all. Uh, well, you're not magic like that. So 
Um, I guess in the meantime, uh, let's cut to a quick little break while we wait for them to sort things out while we wait so, uh, to figure things out. I'm looking at the smash.gg oh. chat. BMM mm -hmm. said, I'm pretty sure my internet cut out. Are you going to take the win? I can rejoin. And Jake said, nah, you can rejoin. So I don't know. It is officially, obviously, the TO's ruling, but Jake okay. seems to be well, more than okay with, um, you know, them running it back. Because the game wasn't that far underway. It was literally the first stock. Like, first, like, 30 seconds of the game, right? The first minute, I should say, before the DC did happen. So, yeah, we're going to be seeing a repeat of game number three right there. And that really, really nice of Jake to just, you know, let him come back in and play that again. Because it is Wi-Fi. Internet issues do happen, you know. That's it, how it goes. So um, but yeah, it does seem like the consensus is that they're going to be playing it out. BMM is already back in it, already back in the arena. I believe it's game. I believe it's game time. Let's get into this. All right. Take two. Uh, game number three between these two <laughs> players. Take everything that we saw about that last game and throw it away. I, I like that sportsman like behavior from Jake because I do believe they're fully in a position to take that game for themselves. But uh, Jake was like, hey, I'm chilling. I get it. I feel you. Uh, so pretty respectable. Jake is chill. Honestly, after getting the opportunity to meet meet Jake in person, he's a very, very mellow dude. My dude is relaxed AF. Anyway, uh, getting back into it. Uh, again, just Jake just starting out so powerfully, just knowing these combos, knowing these low percent combos right here. You know, we look at Yanni for these complex, crazy Steve combos, but Jake has them too. Jake, Jake, Jake knows his character inside and out. I feel like they're both just playing this really a lot more slowly and a lot more safely. Mm -hmm. uh, Jake just really realized, like, hey, you know, at the end of the day, Robin's always going to be the one with the pressure to be constantly approaching me. I can dash back and mix up between mine carting back to the other side of the stage, or dash back and end up going for uh, some more resources. And I'm liking the movement right now of BMM, just keeping uh, Jake at arm's length, just mixing up with these cross-ups right here as well. Ooh, a little bit late on the Elf Thunder. Oh my god, the triple lava. And how do you get out of there, there too? There it is. Same oh. exact scenario, and Jake tries to go through that setup again, <laughs> and is going to be able to find that F smash to be able to close it out. Very, very similar to the second stock in the last game. Jake intentionally getting hit by the TNT, recognizing, hey, my percent is a little bit lower than yours. I'm not going to take A as much knockback as you, which means I'm going to be behind you, and B, I am taking less knockback, so I'm actually going to have frame advantage in that position. So even though that they whiffed that follow-up back here from the TNT, they were still able to follow up because of their advantageous position. Jake's understanding of that game state is pop champ. I've never seen Jake play this creatively before. I, I don't know what is unlocked inside of him, but he's been just going for these crazy unorthodox options that are just catching BMM off guard, off guard every single time. Oh, we're gonna see another low percent combo here. You gotta be really careful. Make sure you SDI those hits. Is that gonna kill? No way. Yeah, no, no, not at all. Not yet. You never know, man. It, it, it's it's top of platform and up smash on PS2. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, top top of platform can make the impossible happen sometimes. It's true. Jake's platform movement is so efficient with these block timing oh. mix-ups and these side beats from stage to stage. Damn. The MM, though, fighting back. You know, getting this percent off, getting these uh, projectiles charged up as well, and I mm -hmm. like that a lot. I like I like that BMM is keeping all resources at the ready, not opting to lock himself into any one way to play. Uh, all right, though. Another diamond. That diamond hits so hard. You've got to be so careful. Ooh, that half smash is going to be still pretty safe, but BMM fights his way out of that interaction. And man, side B, that is not a hitbox that you can challenge sometimes. No way. Uh, does he get the double arc fire follow up? Although BMM still had the right idea. Um, right now, Jake is looking for that one big opening because, as we all know, as soon as Steve finds that up tilt, as soon as Steve finds that jab at low percent, that's just damage mm -hmm. inbound. Actually getting clipped by the Levin Star right there, and that puts BMM right back in the game. Last stocks even. This is the most even I think we've seen this set this uh, thus far, Dara. Oh my. All right, Arc fired down. What is BMM going to do from here? Going to be taking some damage, but luckily, Jake not getting the hits he wanted out of that up tilt string right there. Oh boy. We're just seeing a zoning war going on right here, not letting Jake getting away uh, with too much resource farming, just kind of keeping on him, switching between these neutral bees and side bees just to keep Jake honest. He's got the diamond though up once again. And again, Jake is just playing so patiently, just always waiting for BMM to be the first oh. one to approach. Oh my God, the roll was long enough to avoid the pressure pad. 
Holy moly. That was such a dangerous position to be in. That was so scary. And again, there it is that time. That time, that TNT down smash was not the same. Really not the same because that was an air dodge from Jake after they initiated the down smash. So as the TNT block dissipated, <gasps> Jake, oh. That was Is that it? Oh, no, no, no. Levin Sword left. If they did have Levin Sword, that would have been the whole game right there. Not being able to punish the end lag of Nosferatu and the jump call out is going to be able to seal that out for Jake. And just like that, Jake takes it with a pretty dominant 3-0 over the BMM. Jake is going to be seeing Chunky Kong in grand finals. Wowie. There you go. Spark, sparks of hope for BMM right there. But mm -hmm. Jake, you know, tightening it up, showing how consistent he is. And uh, we're going to be seeing two Wi-Fi Titans going off against his grands. So that's that's pretty hype. 